My world looks so dull and boring. <laughs> hey guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys my texture pack for Minecraft RC2, as it's labeled on the top left hand side of the screen. Uh, however, more than likely, the link to the texture pack that's going to be in the description is going to be for the latest version of Minecraft, but I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to work or anything. But what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video is to how to sort of mingle with the texture packs that are the textures that you want to use in Minecraft. Because as you guys can see here, uh, the, the grass color on this particular quote-unquote default texture pack is very dull, very boring, and it's it was a major factor as to why I have I didn't play my piece of map for quite a long time, at least until I made a texture pack myself, which is not really really a texture pack it's more like a reskin of various elements of minecraft so this is what this video is going to show you and i'm also going to teach you like i said some some of the basics as to how texture packs actually work so if i go ahead and i hit save and quit here and look at my texture packs folder as you can see there uh, i was on default but now i'm going to switch over to ant venom pack hit done and go back into my pixel map here and as you can see wow to me, that is a huge difference. Nice and vibrant, nice and green. Looks, It's very pleasing to look at. Even in the process makes everything else look much more vibrant, at least in my opinion. Just looking at everything else like that doesn't have grass, it's just it's more appealing to look at because it doesn't look like such a sad environment. But uh, the, the particular version that I'm using right now is actually not updated for this version of Minecraft. Uh, as of pre-release 6, my texture pack has not worked properly, or at least in one element has not worked properly now if we go into my mad science laboratory here and we head into the end oh and by the way uh, if you guys have noticed the video is lagging much more than usual uh, there's a reason for that I'll show you guys here in just a second but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump into the end here and as you guys can see as soon as it loads up uh, the boss health on the top actually doesn't show up and just so the dragon doesn't come after me and knock me off the platform and totally fail this demonstration. Uh, if you guys saw my Ender Dragon fight video as soon as pre-release 6 came out, you would notice that there was a pink bar on the top that labeled the boss's health. And that's that was not in my version of the texture pack, which actually ruined my first recording of that fight. Because I wasn't really sure what to look out for. So I checked my texture pack, or checked the default texture pack, and found out there was something there that I was missing. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to, like I said, modify, and I'm going to teach you some of the quote unquote rules of texture packs so if i save and quit here and go to the main menu and you don't actually have to exit out of minecraft in order to uh in order to modify your texture packs i'm going to go ahead i'm going to minimize it here and as you can see i have two folders open i have uh the texture packs folder or let me go in here i'm in the texture packs folder in the dot minecraft uh folder and i'm in the bin folder in the dot minecraft folder now your dot minecraft folder is where all of the minecraft stuff is if you've ever wanted to know how to replace your jar files to try out pre-releases this is how you do it as you can see i have a ton of different jar files in here uh you know 1.9.2 all the way up to 1.9.6 and then uh, rc2 vanilla and then i have the regular old minecraft one here and this is the one that i'm going to be opening today so if I uh, go to open with, you want to open this with a, an extraction program that can extract RAR files. So either 7-zip or WinRAR. I know there's plenty of them out there. I personally use WinRAR. Uh, it's just a personal choice. I've been using it for a long time. But anyways, and I'm also in my texture packs folder going to double click on Ant Venom Pack. And that's going to show you what is inside of my texture pack. So as you can see, within my texture pack, there is not nearly as much stuff as there is in the, in the jar file. So at least as far as textures go, I'm not like a complete expert on this. But if I go into the GUI here and I go into the GUI in this one, you can see that I only have three, I only have three pictures in my texture pack. But there are many of them in here. I actually think it says 16 on the bottom. So there are 16 files in the actual texture pack or in the actual textures file for minecraft so yeah the way texture packs actually work is whatever you have in your texture pack will override not replace it won't like go in and replace it or anything but it will override what you use in your minecraft.jar file so uh, if i go into gui here and for example i click on icons which i actually have both of them on my desktop so i'm going to open both uh, the, the the one on the right here, as I zoom in, you can see it has the blue bar, which is a part of my texture pack. It is something that a lot of people have liked, and it's actually something that Skitscape came up with, and he's given me permission to use it in his text er, in my texture pack. And uh, on the, the the left side here, you notice that it's green, the dull, ugly green, uh, like the default one. But you notice there's actually a bar that is currently missing from mine, and that is the boss battle fight. So that in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys, at least in Photoshop, how to replace that. Uh, and uh, 
you know, and then show you uh, show you what it's going to look like in my texture pack once it's all done. So like I said, the one on the right, uh, I, maybe I'm being a little bit confusing here, but the one, on, the one on the left now that I just moved is the one that is from my texture pack, and the one on the right is from the jar file here. So like I said, I'm going to combine the two together, nice mix mash, and I'm going to show you guys how to get this working. So anyway, so I'm going to exit out of both of these here, and I actually already have Photoshop open uh, with, with them already imported. So let me drag this here to make it a little bit bigger so I can expose some of the layers. There we go. So as you can see, uh, I'm not going to give you guys a Photoshop tutorial today. There are plenty of Photoshop tutorials online. I'm not going to go doing that today because it requires a lot of effort, um, you know, to explain the basics. But for those of you that know Photoshop, uh, as you can see here, I have both, uh, both, uh, both layers. If I disable this one, you see that the old one is underneath. And you see that with this one, the, or, yeah, the, the new one is underneath and the old one is on top. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in here so I can see the entire green bar. And all I'm really going to do is I'm going to take my selection bar here and I'm going to make sure that I very carefully select just the texture bit here. Uh, or actually, no, I think I need to select both here. So let me do this. Make sure that your your selection bar is just absolutely perfect because this needs to be pixel for fix, pixel for pixel perfect. Uh, I actually think that's what I need it to be right there. And I'm going to go ahead and I think that's it. I'm going to let that be selected. Uh, I'm going to go to the top layer here because this is where I need to delete it from. And I'm going to hit the delete key. Oh, it says it's not directly editable. And I know why too, uh, because I need to rasterize this layer. There we go. And I hit delete. And as you can see now, when I hit, when I deselect all of this, you see I now have the blue bar and I also have the boss meter. So this is exactly what I want to be in my texture pack. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to file, save as, and I'm going to save this to, uh, let's see here. Um, icons. I'm just going to name it icons one, just so I can uh, mess around with stuff. Uh, that might have saved. Okay, I just saved a Photoshop file. My bad. I'm going to go to PNG here, which is kind of an important step to change that to PNG. Then I'm going to hit save. And as you can see right now, when I double click on this, this obtain this contains everything that I need. It has the new. It has the the boss the the boss meter that I need and it has the blue experience bar as well so I'm gonna exit out of this here I am going to go into my texture pack I'm gonna delete the current icons picture that's in there I'm gonna delete these two that are on my desktop just so I can rename these I'm gonna rename my, the one that I just made to icons and I'm gonna drag that into my texture pack so now as you can see I have made the new icons uh, the new icons thing and if I actually go back into Minecraft here and I uh, click on my piece of map here. As you can see, oh, it's uh, I don't think it's actually showing up. Maybe I do have to exit out of Minecraft. Let me let me double check on this. It could be a total fluke on my part. All right, let's see here. I honestly think that probably was the issue. Yep, as you can see now on the top of the screen, I have the new uh, the new uh, the new boss meter. And if I were to go and attack the Ender Dragon and all that, uh, it would show up. Let me. Okay, there we go. See now it's loaded up in full because the dragon himself actually loaded up. Let me see if I can kill an Enderman here and hopefully not have the dragon knock me off of the platform uh, in order to show you guys the experience bar as well because it is blue and not green. All right. Oh, secret with Enderman. God, I love those noises. But it's... Ooh, I don't like that noise though. But the, a secret... Oh, crap. Ah, I'm being knocked off the edge. But yeah, a secret with Enderman, not the Ender Dragon, but a secret with Enderman is to just attack him at the feet. They won't teleport. Don't attack him at the head because that is a, uh, that's, that's something that a lot of people do. And it is honestly some really bad advice. But anyways, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you guys today. Um, you know, a few little hiccups here and there. But uh, like I said, if you guys want to download my texture pack, uh, be sure to check the link in the description. It's going to be there. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover today. How'd I do, sheep? Did I did I do all right? Uh, you're you're walking up now, sh man. That sheep must have hated this video. But I hope you guys like this video, anyways. But anyways, my name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.